Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode from JK with the AK. Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day. Um, had a busy day at work, but I'm back here making videos in the man cave back on another day. Um, so guys, today I had a lot of people ask me um, to do an upcoming update version 741.3 video for you they didn't actually even like say that but they actually did want all like the next xbox update they want me to upload an, anal an analysis analysis of the next update and let me tell you guys um this next update is packed full of new dinos and i cannot wait um also i've got another video coming out either later today or tomorrow um oh hashtag double upload but um that should probably be tomorrow um or the next day, or next week. Um, no, I'm joking, but it will be in the next couple of days, and it's a very, very exciting video. I, or oh, not for you, might not be for you, but I literally cannot wait. Exclusive video coming here first on the JK with the AK channel. Anyway, guys, let's get started for the for the complete update, which is coming out next. Oh, it's coming out by the way on PC on October the 10th. This next, what I'm about to show you, but as the new phase might be that xbox get it like the next day that could be from now on so we could get it on october the 10th or the 11th or the 12th but that would be awesome so um you know like it's literally from it's literally like a week to two weeks away um coming out so yeah it's gonna be good anyway guys let's get started so first of all um this is version 248 by the way for pc um estimated time of arrival october the 10th um the new feature um, it's basically going to be something awesome. So let's get straight to that. And this is just, as you can see, like cliffs, trees. This isn't a normal Xbox One map. We have Scorched Earth, we have the island, and we have the center. This is none of these. This is a different map. I have no clue which map it is. But it is. this is just an example of what is coming. Generated arcs, right? This means its arc is going to work like Minecraft does, guys. So that means you set up a single player or a server, you put in like a word or whatever, and that generally it randomly makes a map. So every dedicated server or whatever map, if someone's made their own, it will be different to play. It's random every time. Um, and they're finally going to put the way to do that in this next update. Um, probably just going to be on PC, this one, I, I should have thought. And it's going to be an ex the first initial experimental test. Meaning that you can play, dick around with it. That probably won't be on Xbox. Another one that might not be on Xbox is Breeding Phase 3. So that's when you're breeding and just say you're two and two Sabertooths. You could have a random mutation so basically, the saber tooth could be born with two heads or three legs or something. I don't know, um, or a wonky tail. But literally, that's the mutations, and they've been talking about this a lot in all the patch notes. So I reckon it could be just a PC little dinker about, or they might not even add it. <laughs> and that comes with family trees as well. So they're the like from the first few things, and another one, the explorer notes. They're free things which may not come to Xbox, so don't hold me to that, but definitely come to PC. Um, another one which will, do, will be coming to Xbox is the Dynamic Length Bridges. So that's another building material. And let's get to the dinos that what you are all been looking for. So, let's get into it. This thing is from, it's literally one of the dinos I've been wanting for so long. <laughs> Did you know, it's over a year ago they first announced this dossier. A year we've had to wait for this beast and still it's not out. It'll be over well over a year before it literally like from comes out for the Xbox. So um, yeah, October the 10th to, to the 11th or the 12th, this thing will be out. So it's called Apro Succus, I believe it's called. So let's just start off by just telling you guys that I know this thing is going to be a hell of a dinosaur. We will read you the dossier right now. It's Wild, or Wild, a smaller relative of the Sarko. Obviously we knew that by the look of the alligator appearance. Um, it's a water-based carnivore, primarily found lurking amongst the island swamps. So as you can see here, there's a, a person here, um, and it's just jumping out of the swamp water to grab him. It's a naturally fast runner that is even fast in the water. It is a solitary hunter that picks off small to medium creatures, especially those isolated from their pack. So literally, these things, are just, you're not going to see them until they pounce out on you. Um, and there's a, like, a thing, picture of what it's done. Um, when attacking, it uses two main tactics. First, it patiently waits below the water surface. And when the target is significantly close, it will perform a... Literally, it will jump out of the water and quickly 
close distance with its prey and make drag it'll drag you underwater this thing secondly its attacks target the prey's vital um, areas especially to drain its stamina so literally this is going to drag you in the water and you're going to lose stamina and you're not going to be able to go to the surface so if you lose if you get grabbed by one of these you're gonna die. Um, survivors, are, survivors are generally split about uses of this. Some love its speed both in and out of the water, um, making it amongst the faster small sized all terrain mounts when traveling through the wetlands. Others do not like how relatively frail they are and do not think its high speed and damages attacks makes up for it. So as you can see you can tame it. Um, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Um, and maybe it's got really bad health. Like, maybe it's got really poor health. I don't know. Um, but that is the Capro Succus. And I cannot wait. That's going to be cool. I've been waiting for this. I know my good mate Dawson has been, or Danny actually, um, what to see this as well. And finally, it's coming out exclusive to the Xbox One and the PC. So next up, we have got the Diplo Colors. This thing, <laughs> it looks so weird and derpy. It looks so weird and derpy. And it literally looks like a sperm on steroids um but this thing i tell you what it might look look very good but it could be a game changer in the sus in the like the area of what it's used for this could be a very good dino um i'm not gonna re like if you can pause the video here and read all about this um so basically this thing like it you can tame it it, it hangs around in the swamps you tame it you can take it underwater you can hold on to it it goes down into its unlimited oxygen Soon as you you don't need oxygen tanks or nothing. Soon as you need oxygen, you go up to it and you suck it from one of us veins or something, and then you continue swimming around doing your own thing. And then when you get low on oxygen, you go back to it and do it again and fill your oxygen bar. But also, if it runs out of oxygen, this thing you can just swim to the surface and it fills this whole body up with oxygen. This thing is a very handy dino. I do probably think I'll still use um, like scuba gear and stuff because. These things aren't attackers, and literally, if you're in the middle of the ocean, right on the ground floor of it, and you're using this to auction, a Megalodon or a um, Mosasaur comes out and eats this, you're screwed, because you ain't going to get back to the surface. So, the Diplocossus is going to be a very handy dinosaur, and I'm actually, generally, quite looking forward to it. But this next one is going to be a beast. Boom, here we go, it's the Calocophyrium. I will work on that name. Um... This thing I've been looking forward to ever since I announced it. It's insane. I know a good old friend of mine as well is looking forward to this because he knows they're going to be good. And I think they're going to be beast. These are going to be basically the same as the rock trolls you get on uh, Scorch Stuff. These are going to be insane. Um, so basically, guys, these things are found in small numbers within the island's colder region. So hinting at the snow. Um, it's normally a peaceful herbivore that prefers to spend its days lazing around or playing with its family. It is very territorial. However, and the entire family, young and old, so there's going to be baby versions of this you can tame, um, will turn against any creature that is a slight privation. Pro... 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 Caution, should I say. That's a retard JK right there. Anyway, literally, these things hang around in their families, and big. you can have big groups of these, and it literally... Um, they have a play mode on them. So literally, they're all just hanging around, and they all just suddenly get playful, and they pick up gravel, rocks, mud, stone... No, snow, uh, not rocks, and literally, they chuck it at each other, and they can kill anything in the way. And if you tame one of these, you can use these things... You can give them rocks, and when they have their play attack time, they will. You can take that into battle, and you can. Lo they'll all lob their rocks at the enemy base. As you can see here, rock catapult. You can tame them, and you can ride them. I cannot wait for this. Um, this tame, this dino is going to be a bloody good dinosaur. If they, if that isn't very good, I'm going to be disappointed because this thing should be something you tame to use for raids. Its sheer size. It is. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the Chalicopharium. That's my pronunciation of it. But literally, it's going to be a beast. And I'm looking forward to it. About two weeks maximum to wait until we get this thing. And I'm looking forward to it. Next up. The Megalosaurus. I'm pretty sure it's Dawson, actually, who wanted to see these. These things are going to be really unique, actually. I'm not too fussed about them, but I, I can tell you they're going to be an absolute bitch. Basically, they're like a Kano. They hang around. They, they sleep in the day. 
So the, you hardly see these things in the in the day. If you disturb them when they're sleeping, they will be they'll be like sluggish and not very good and attack you. But at night time, they all wake up and they all come out hunting. Um, I believe they're a pack animal. Um, literally, they're nocturnal. So literally, when they're in when it's night time, these things are going to be everywhere, and they have a special attack. Um, once again, pause the video to read the dossier if you want. But they have a special attack. Which, when they when they attack it, they all of a sudden will have a lock attack, which means that they will clap their jaws shut on you, and it has a bleed effect and everything. And it they you ha can't you need your tribe to help you to get out of that, um, and it will absolutely kick your ass if you're on your own. So this dino is going to be an absolute bitch um, if you are on your own, so running down the bloody black beach or something, and you see one of these. They're going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Anyway, guys, that is not fully it for the update. There'll also be a bonus render batching optimization for 20% perf in structure heavy areas. Now, you guys are not going to have a clue what I mean there, but literally, just say you've got a massive, like, from base or something, and uh, that affects the lighting or something like that, and the graphics go a little bit dodgy when you've got so many structures at once, and that's loading in. It's now going to be a 20% upgrade to that. So, that any upgrade to graphics, in my opinion, on the Xbox is a bonus, and I just hope they implement this on the Xbox as well. But anyway, guys, there are four dinos. I cannot wait to see. Literally, the main one I'm looking forward to is that beast. I cannot wait for this thing. And also, I do believe that this thing is going to be quite cool as well. But they reckon that the health on this is really, really bad. Um, it's really OP. Like it can, It's a running crocodile, for Christ's sake. It, its attack basically kills you when it drags you in the water. Um, it's super quick. It's, it's one of the quickest um, dinos on the game now. Um, it can swim super quick like a crocodile. But... It's health is really bad. Like, that's disappointing, but they've got a nerf it some way. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on this video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Tell your friends about the channel. And please, guys, actually, don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you're looking forward to the most and anything you know about these dinos. Any, any more information you know about these dinos, I'll kind of wait to hear from your comments. And, uh, yeah. And I do apologise for not replying to many comments lately. It's because I've been so busy grinding it out on numerous servers i've got I've had so much to do from numerous servers on the go grinding up building up because obviously you know you never know on different servers when you get white um i've got a video coming out about a very very exclusive new creature coming out to the game i've got also another video road to alpha coming out very soon as well and i've got another different series which will be starting up soon as well anyway guys hope you enjoyed and stay awesome Bye bye